Hey everyone, Brandon from Drum Mechanics. I want to talk to you about pain today. Over the last several years of me doing this drum mechanics thing, a lot of you have asked me, what do I do if I have pain in my back, pain in my hip, pain in my knees, pain in my shoulder, and pretty much all body parts as it relates to playing this instrument. So today I want to talk about the few tips that are the most important to me, but I have to share as we're going through this again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional. I'm a muscle system specialist and personal trainer. I work with people who are struggling with mobility issues all the time. So I wanna share the things I would suggest for you to do if you are experiencing a level of pain. First and foremost, if you're experiencing a high level of pain somewhere in your body when you're playing drums and you're really concerned about it, go to your doctor, physiotherapist, chiropractor, or primary healthcare practitioner in your world. Honestly, if you're concerned about something, you should not be sitting there Googling and trying to figure it out. Go get in front of someone who's an expert on the matter. And worst case scenario, they'll tell you there's nothing to worry about and you need to go deal with it on your own. Worst, worst case scenario, there's a problem and you need to get taken care of right away. Too many people will have a problem that is serious and needs to get managed and they'll try to just tough it out for a few weeks. So go talk to your primary healthcare practitioner. The second piece of advice is to avoid the pain. Simple. But if I'm drumming and I'm riding this ride cymbal and every time I bang my wrist back, I get this kind of pinching feeling in the back of my wrist from my ganglion cyst that I personally have. Or I'm playing large bass drum notes and every time I lift my leg up, my back kind of pinches on the right side. Try to modify your technique for that period of time so you don't poke the pain. You can imagine pain being much like a blister from playing drums. I mean, we've all had blisters. Blisters are these wet water sack filled pieces of inflammation underneath our skin. And what we need to do when we have a blister is to let it rest, let it calcify over. What happens for most of us is if we have a blister and we're playing a gig and we keep playing, that blister pops, or sometimes it gets that blister on top of a blister, and you guys know what I mean. And that just gets worse and worse. Pain in our body, especially when we don't know what it is, is exactly the same. If we have pain in our muscles, if we have pain in our wrist and we keep pushing through it, it is likely to get worse. Now, some of you may say, well, I've done that and the pain has gone away. And that sometimes does happen, but you don't want to gamble that. You want to be risk averse because again, as I've always talked about, we want to keep playing this thing for as long as we can. So try to avoid pain. Now, if you're new to this channel, this next tip may surprise you, but my suggestion when you're experiencing a high level of pain, and especially when you don't know what it is, is to avoid stretching it. Yes, avoid stretching it. I've seen too many people who get a, some discomfort in an area, and I'm just pointing at my wrist because you guys can see it better, but back and hips. And as soon as they get that pain, they try to stretch it out because they've been told for years, stretching will help. And again, sometimes it does help. So if it has helped you, and you've got someone recommending for you to do it, don't stop. But what I have found is that when there's pain, there's a lot of physical force already going through that muscle. And when there's already a lot of physical force or tension in the joint, the muscle, the tendon, what have you, and we put more force into it, that can become a big problem. Sometimes yanking on that rope-like tissue that we've talked about in the past can actually exacerbate that area. So try not to aggressively stretch the muscle. I have found in my experience that more often than not, it does not necessarily help a lot. The next one is to actually try exercising, but exercise your body in the gym or at home without poking the painful areas. Your muscles have this innate responsibility to produce force, control motion, and absorb forces. So if I've got this area of my body that's not doing well, Instead of resting completely, if I exercise my elbow and my shoulder and other parts of my body and get them better at contracting, the forces that would normally go through my wrist now have other joints and other muscles that they can use. So try to strengthen your entire body except for the parts that's hurting. Now, my last piece of advice for today is a proactive one. Um, as a muscle system specialist, you can imagine me like being a mechanic for the muscular system. So my suggestion for you, if you're experiencing pain or not, is to try to find a physiotherapist, chiropractor, massage therapist, muscle specialist, or fitness person that you trust to be proactive and check in on your body to make sure that you can catch problems before they come problems. The body, as much as it is a biological machine, is still mechanical and we have to deal with these Newtonian physics laws. And if you can identify areas where range of motion is lost, muscular performance has decreased, or you're just not doing as best as you can, and you can have someone help you with that, that'll be a great way to avoid injuries and also help with current injuries. 
All right, everyone, this is Brandon from Drum Mechanics. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope those tips were helpful for you. Again, I don't want you guys to suffer, and I hope these generic pieces of advice help. Again, if you're really struggling, go find someone local to you that can look at your body and figure out what the heck's going on. All right, thanks so much. This is your biomechanics and fitness resource for the modern drummer. Have a great one, guys. Stay healthy.